Blim, 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 blom. Bang! Hello there, gaming fans. Welcome to my hideout. I am your host, The Hood. Back with another gameplay video for your entertainment today. And today, today, I think we are going to come to the end of the story of who is Abby? Abby is our sister. Abby has been missing for a number of days, it seems. I thought it had just been one night that she'd gone missing, but in the last episode, it turns out she had been gone for a number of days, leading to our hero Tom stealing someone's car because he misplaced his own car keys. That gives you a little insight into the way Tom's mind works. It doesn't work. That's the problem. Well, it does work, just not like the rest of our minds. So in the last video, we completed chapters 3, 4, and 5. What remains is 6, 7, and 8. I intend to do all of them today, because I can't wait any longer to find out what has happened to Abby, and why it's called Who is Abby? Because we've known who Abby is all along. Why isn't it called Where is Abby? I don't know. I didn't make it. So the last episode saw us flashing backwards and forwards in time, catching up with Tom during his search for Abby, and flashing back as to how he got there in the first place. And slowly but surely, the story is coming together. As chapter 5 was a flashback chapter, I am expecting as we begin, we will be back on the trail for John. John found Abby's phone in a barn that he has been sleeping in, probably because his wife kicked him out for unspecified reasons. Don't even know if he's got a wife, just making wild assumptions. But John had Abby's phone, John heard a scream, John told us to meet him at the boathouse, even though I was two minutes away from the barn he was in. And I actually want to know how he's got from the barn to the boathouse because I had to do the elaborate bridge system using a crane and a pallet of wood, which was ridiculous, but I still don't understand how John got there without leaving that in place for me already. Weird. But then it is a rather weird story. And now we need to find out how that weird story ends. There's Tom warming himself by the fire. I'm surprised he didn't burn the whole damn woods down with that. We are heading into relentless rain. Tom is going to moan about this because he hasn't had a coat the entire time. He's just got a silly little gilet on that's not going to protect him. I can hear it pissing it down already. Oh, look at it. Smashing it down. Why is it dark? How long have I been on this road? In the last episode, when we woke up at the shack, it was ten past seven. We'll be generous and say that it's got dark at seven o'clock. There's no way it took me twelve hours. Danger. Steep drop into deep water from Cliff. It's nice of Cliff to leave those notes. Great. This rain's relentless. I'm completely drenched. Is this John? It's John. No. No, I'm still making my way there. Okay, I unlocked the boathouse already. Get in there and grab yourself a drink. Wait for me there. Nice. What? Hang on. Alright, at least if I can find the boathouse, I can get out of the rain. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. I'm not a fan of this path. What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. I mean, nice one for putting it together, but I don't want to walk on this. Jesus. This is horrible. Now, John didn't sound like he was filled with a sense of urgency as he ran off ahead to find a screaming woman. John now just wants to meet up and have a bit of a drink. Whose tent is this? Whoa, who would be crazy enough to set up camp all the way up here? No idea, mate. No idea. Are there any clues? Limpans. I think that's the brand name. It's a memory fragment. Please, I'll carry it. Don't worry about it. We still have the hot dogs and bread left to eat. Check the tent. This is a familiar looking tent. Is this the other tent that I brought? What's this? A coffee pot. I didn't bring a coffee pot. Mm, I could really use a coffee right now. Mate, I packed the camping supplies. I gave you the option of taking coffee. You refused. Hang on, I can't... Oh, I was going to say, I can't get any further. This giant log is in the way. I can't pass here while this log is in the way. It's like a wall. Right, now, A, it's not a log. It's a fucking tree. That is a tree. And B, you could easily climb on that. It's not even dick high, you fucking loser. But I spied this ladder, so we will climb up this horrifying ladder into the fucking mountain. Go for it, Tom. It's all right, he's at the top. That did not look safe. That piece of wood that he grabs right at the end looked like it was about to fucking fall straight out of the ground. It didn't. We can carry on. I haven't got a light, have I? No. Where's the path? Uh... Can you do that again? Come on, I need another flash of lightning so I can see where I'm fucking going. Do I just walk into the trees? No. Why would you even think that you would? Right, there's nothing over here, mate. I've got up here for nothing. Do I climb this giant tree? There's nothing over here. There isn't a way or anything. What the fuck have I come up here for? Hello? Climb down? Oh, am I climbing down a different way? I mean, that's not climbing down. That's pushing a giant fucking boulder. That boulder, that boulder must have weighed a ton. It's even worked. 
I mean, it worked. I saw it smash the fucking log off, but you were taking a massive chance. Because A, that could have smashed the bridge that you were trying to cross. And B, you could have pulled something, because that looks heavy as shit. Amazingly, the log tree doesn't float. Okay, we found a chest piece. One. I haven't been keeping track of my chest pieces. I know on two levels at least, I managed to not find all of them. Okay, we've got a gate. This looks locked. It's not. It's open. And we're in. Is this the boathouse? Found that in record time. I don't know what the record was, but I'm pretty sure I just broke it. John, I'm here. Oh, it's fucking Eddie again. Whoa, sounds like a real storm where you are. It is. Yeah, it's torrential here. You should get in the boathouse and dry off. What? How did you know I'm near a boathouse? Well, yeah. No, no, I didn't mean... He faked that. Ah, crap. Service sucks in the valley. How did Eddie know where I am? It's a good question, yeah? I want to know how Eddie knew where I am. And I'm pretty sure that when we caught Eddie out and called him on that, he did that thing where you go, dip, 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 and hung up on us, yeah? Oops, Pretending. Dark. Looks like it'll need a bit of convincing to let go. I mean, it's not holding on, mate. Can't we just give it a fucking push? Maybe, yeah? He used... Oh, I found another chest piece. Maybe he used all of his strength and energy pushing that massive fucking boulder into the sea. And he's got nothing left to push the boat until he's had a drink. Right, let me head off. Can I touch anything? Just get into fucking house. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Keep your bra on. John, are you fucking in here? John? Ugh, finally out of the rain. Maybe there's a way to dry off and clean up in here. Maybe this small fire in front of me. I know it's not a fire, it's another chess piece. Bang, that's three. Nailing it today. We've got a torch. A flashlight. Yes. That's definitely gonna be useful. Sure is. It is dark out there, man. What's in the door? In the door is the lounge area. Is this a real bread bin? I'm not allowed to check. Check in the cabinet, though. No propane here. Where could it be? Oh, I have to find some propane? Shit. Let's go through all the cupboards, see what we can find. Got matches? Fuck off, Can't mate. Do much in this state. Cleaning up is the priority now. Cleaning up what? Oh, it's a banana, Tom. God, I hate these things. I know. Hey, look, coffee. First things first. I need to sort out this mess and get cleaned up. Are you telling me you want a shower? Or do we just need to use the sink? Hmm, could use the sink to wash up. Just need to find the right supplies. For fuck's sake. Just use water, mate. Make me go and find some fucking soap. This is a message for Dr. McAllister. We still haven't heard from you. It has been several days, and we are at the point where we cannot let this Okay, so that's weird. It constantly keeps telling me about this escaped patient. Well, it doesn't. It first In the first episode, it told me about an escaped patient. In the last one, it talked about an officer, Brant or something. And now, hello, there's a police hat over there. And now we're talking about a doctor who needs to secure a patient and bring them back home. Do they make police hats here? Is that what's going on? Right, can you fuck off and get some soap? I don't know where it is. Right, I found the propane. Can't do much in this state. Oh, Cleaning up is the priority now. Mate, you were just out in the rain. How dirty did you get? I saw you when you pushed the fucking rock off. You were clean. I mean, he was clean for first Tom. First I need to sort out this mess. Oh my fucking good God. You're a twat, Tom. Is it under no, the sink? No clean clothes. Need to find some detergent. Christ. Give me the light. Is there anything out here? There is not. Okay. I mean, surely it's in here somewhere. I just need to find it. But it's hard when you... Ah, I found some ah, ultra-clean detergent. detergent. Perfect for getting myself cleaned up. Fantastic. Now you can stop bitching. Okay, let's go and get cleaned up. And then we can interact with everything else in the place. Pow! Is that pure detergent? Oh, I'm washing my clothes. Okay, clothes need to soak for a bit. Could use a drink in the meantime. It's too right. Am I naked? Doesn't look like I am. Looks like I've put on a ninja outfit. A drink? Can we have the coffee? Coffee beans. Nice. Need to grind them. Is this the grinder? Yep, perfect. Nailing it, mate. This is easy. We've got a pile of coffee. I've got my ground coffee. Next stop, the stove. The stove. The stove. That's here. This is where I can make coffee. I just need the right stuff to do okay, it. Okay, now I need to go and get the propane tank. Shit, where am I? Went in the wrong room. Don't worry about it. Propane tank is here. This propane canister might come in handy. Yes, it fucking will. Uh, and then I'm going to need a saucepan for the coffee. Or a kettle. No, a coffee maker. Ah, a coffee pot. Perfect. Okay, are we done? Have I got everything? Need matches to get this fire started. Matches? I've seen matches. They were... they were here. Directly in front of me. Matches? These could be useful later on. They're gonna be useful right now, Tom. Light the stove. Right, the coffee's brewing. Time to deal with my clothes. Okay. I don't need to scrub them or anything, do I? Nope. Right, I've got my clothes, but they're still wet. Need to dry them first. Uh, on fucking what, mate? There isn't a fire or anything in here, is there? What's this? I don't know, but I'm lighting it. There. Fire's lit. This will help dry my clothes faster. Okay. Uh, now what do you want me to do? Can I go and get my coffee? Are we ready? Coffee's on. 
I should sort my clothes now. Fucking hell, I, I thought I'd done that. Do I need to hang them on something? Where do I put the clothes? The fire's on. Where do, oh, they're on the hangers. Got it. Now can I have my fucking coffee? Christ. It sounds like my coffee's ready. Yes, it does. Dying of thirst. Yes. Where did I get those trousers? And why is my cock showing through them? Obviously they're too small for me, yeah? I've ripped them, because Tom has got such a massive member. What's going on here? John, are you coming in or what? I've had the coffee on. Don't worry that I'm half naked. I mean you no harm. I'm just drying everything because I've been wandering around in the rain, apparently for 12 hours, because that's how long it took me to find the place. Okay, coffee break over. Should check on the clothes. Okay, I'm on it. Now, I think these are my trousers, because they're not drying up here, so I've just got wet trousers on. That's not going to do us any good. Mm, feeling much better. Maybe I should check the attic before heading out. Do you know there was a fucking attic? Where is it? Oh, found it. Uh, do I need a ladder? There's the attic. Need a way to get up there. Shit! Uh, I haven't seen... Oh, here we go. I haven't seen it, because I wasn't I looking for it. could get me up into the attic. Now I looked for it, found it instantly, because that's the kind of guy I am, yeah? Attention to detail is wow. not it's what you associate with me. Perhaps I should use my flashlight. I already am. It's on, you prick. It's been on since I picked it up. Okay, what have we got up here? We've got a hammer. Got a hammer. This could come in handy. Great. Anything else? We've got a bike. Don't really fancy biking through these woods, mate. Especially on those bridges. Tire's gonna go straight through one of those slats. A memory fragment. Bread! We still have the hot dogs and the bread left to eat. So you want me to find their hot dogs next? They are small. They are not gonna be easy to find. Is that it? Just a hammer? There's nothing else up here now? Anything out the window? Okay, right, I've got a hammer. Now I can hammer in the morning, I can hammer in the evening, and I can hammer all goddamn night. Or day. I don't know the fucking song, alright? Get me out of here. So there's a gate over here. Do I need the hammer for this? Or do I need the hammer for the boat? Give it a good whack. I don't think that hammer is gonna do any good here, man. Yes it is. Shut up. I mean, it's not going to do any good if you just hammer mid-air. Apparently it is, yeah? Tom has got special powers. He did see him with that boulder, right? He can also magic fucking boats into the water. Right, but what about this gate over here? Because I don't just want to wander off in my boat. Fix the boat so it can cross the river. Shit, what's it need? Let me check on it. Didn't realise I was going to have extra tasks. Uh, yeah, it appears to be letting in uh, an awful lot of water. The boats have sunk under all this water. I need to bail it out first. What do I need? A bucket? Is there a bucket lying around? I mean, that's gonna take a while, man. What we're better off doing, yeah, is making a hole in the bottom so all the water drains out. That's Tom's thinking, not mine. If we left Tom to his own devices, that's what he'd do. I'm not an idiot. Inspect old trailer. There's something rather artful about how this has just been left here. Tom, you are a fucking clown. Can we go through this gate now? Oh, yeah. Use the hammer. He actually needs to put his hands on it this time. He can't do magic hands on their doors just for boats. Okay, we've got a well. And we've got a junction box, and I can hear a generator. It's probably the junction box. Possibly, yes. Get that light back on. So, oh no, there is a generator here. Can't interact with it. Can we do anything with the well? This is going to have a bucket on it, mate. And then I can go and bail out the boat, surely. Well, maybe until I fucking broke it. Snapped. Need to find another way to wind this well. Shit. Okay, what can we do with this? Uh, it's missing something. It's missing a fuse. It could power things up. But it needs a wire. So we're gonna put the fuse in, power up the well. Got it. Got any hot dogs? We've got some blue wire. A spool of wire. This could be useful for power. Shit. I thought I just needed a fuse, mate. What's this? Sorry, to say the least. Squirrel resembling Abraham Lincoln found. I told you it was a slow news day in Clearwater, but I had no idea how slow. Do you need my blue wire? This is ready to be wired up, but it needs something at the other end. Alright, so the blue wire is gonna go on here, is it? I don't know, mate. So what we're looking for is probably going to be along this path. I thought, oh gosh, it's just a house. Can I get in? Can get straight in? I imagine what I need is just going to be in here. Just need to find it first in the darkness. Oh crikey, what's in there? It's the sex room. Hello, I found a wheel. Sick right off. This could be handy. Okay, that's going to come in handy when we're fixing the well. Can I get in the sex room? This gate is locked. I need to find a key. Damn. What about in here? Is there anything in here I can use? Apparently not. This is all junk. Shit. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Another one? Drive belt. This belt might be part of a solution. I think it is. That's why you took it. If it wasn't, you wouldn't have bothered me. I've seen how much shit you just look at and then put back down. It's infuriating at times. We've got some cupboards. Is there a key anywhere? There is not. Oh, shit. What's this? Motor control box. A motor control box. This should be useful. All coming together. I think Tom is going to have full pockets, though. Right, I can't find anything else. I'm going to go down, put all these bits on the junction box, and see if I've done enough to solve the puzzle. Fingers crossed I have, because I didn't see anything else in there. I don't know where the key is, mate. The wire's ready, but there's nothing to connect it to. 
Do I need to interact with the well? I've got a control box here, but no motor to control. Fucking hell. Do I need to go over here? No, because I couldn't do anything over here, you dick. Shit balls. Right, so I need a motor. There must be something over here that I've missed. What about around the side? Uh, no, there is nothing here. What about inside? Did I miss something glaringly obvious? I mean, it's hard, because when I get close to something, I can't fucking see. Ha! What's this? The motor. The motor. I wonder if it still works. We're about to find out, I think. I believe I now have everything it wants. So let's stick the motor on the well. Let's stick the wheel on. And then the band. Looks like I need to hook up some electricity to this. So we just need the wire. Done. How do I turn it on? Oh, here we go. Beautiful. I have upgraded your well. You're welcome. It has a key inside. Perfect. Right, the key is for the sex room. The bucket is for the boat. Everything is coming together just as usual. Now let's get in the sex room. Can't wait to find out what we've got in here. Sex. It's not sex. It's a fucking chess piece. Get out my fucking way, door. Surely there's more than just a shit chess piece. Come on, there's loads of wires and shit in here. I've got gasoline. Ah, this is special gas, specifically for boat engines. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, he's not highlighting anything. Think that is us. Okay, right. I mean, I can't imagine what more we'd need. We've got a bucket to bail the boat out. We've got the gasoline to make it go. Back to the boat we had. Oh, this has been nice and simple. The boathouse was an easy one. I don't understand why John hasn't fucking turned up, the prick. He made me meet him here and then he's not bothered coming. Uh, bucket this shit out. Here we go. The boat's dry now. Time to see if I can get this thing moving. Well, I've got the gas. That should help. Interact with boat. Yes! Smashed it. Surely that's not the end of the chapter. John wanted me to wait at the boathouse, but I can't just stand by and let all these mysteries go unanswered. Of course you can't. There's something about Abby's whereabouts that John knows and he isn't telling me. I agree. I need to find out what he's hiding and get to the truth. Actually, I don't agree. Why does he think that? I'm just starting to worry that I might be too late. You suspect that John's done something to your sister? I mean, why would he ring us? He had no need. And why would he send us on this wild goose chase? He could have just pushed us off the bridge. It would have been a believable death if I'd just fallen off the bridge in the rain. Can you tap the landing grid and see anything in this I didn't even see where I needed to put the hot dogs and the bread in the last area. Uh, well, I haven't started a new chapter yet, so maybe I've not even got there. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, because I've still only got four chess pieces out of eight. So we're not actually at the end of the chapter yet. We're still wandering around in shit. I really thought there might have been something back here. I guess it's just another disappointment. Nope, there's a chess piece in there, mate. Oh, you? do you mean I've run into a dead end and I have to go all the way back? Well, thanks for telling me, Tom. At least I won't waste time hanging around there looking for something that isn't there. Let's follow the path then. Hang on, is that a second way? No, it was not. So we can just follow the path along and hopefully that's going to take me to the front of that building and I can get in. Keep our eyes peeled for... You see that place over there? Let's check it out. That's what I am doing, Abby. Abby, what? God, what's going on with me? It's just a memory, Tom, for fuck's sake. Oh, who is this now? George. John, whoever. Tom, I've arrived at the boathouse. Where are you? Legged it. waiting around, John. Tom, we agreed. It's important we stick together. It's not safe for you to go off on your is own. Is he fucking kidding? I'll be the judge of that. I need to find Abby, and I'm not going to find her by just sitting around. I understand you're worried, but you need to think about what you're doing. John's you a dick. like what you find. Well, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Be careful, Tom. Remember, not everything is as it seems. Well, you've said that before. Alright, this is getting weird. So John is pissed off that I didn't wait for him at the boathouse, saying that we need to stick together. I haven't even fucking met him yet. He told me to meet him originally at the barn. I got there and he fucked off to the boathouse. So how about that for sticking together, John? You sack of shit. And what did he mean by, I might not like what I find when I get there? Now I am beginning to agree with Tom that he's fucking mutilated my sister. I bet he's chopped her up and left her in buckets, hanging on the roof, hanging from the roof. It'll be quicker. I mean... I could just walk through the fucking fence. There's a floating note. Let's go and read it. Can I actually climb this? Okay, I can inspect it. Yeah, you should know me by now. I don't do climbing fences. You don't do climbing fucking anything, do you, you lazy twat? Right, we'll go to this building instead. There's definitely a chess piece in there. Is my flashlight on? Keep it fucking on, idiot. On at all times. Okay, that's the chess piece. Do I need a ladder or something so he'll climb? He's not interested in anything in this room. Okay, so maybe I do go back and there is a crack in the... Oh, no, wait, there's a way up. We'll do that instead. Hopefully this will... Uh... <sighs> Fucking hell, there's no way back now. Hopefully, this will lead us into that area that we just watched Abby jump into. Unless, that's a massive red herring and we don't need to go there at all. Is this a gate? There's wire holding this gate shut and I can't remove it with my bare hands. 
two things, yeah? You could just walk over the fucking fence here. Treat that fence like it's a ladder. I mean, you probably don't even need to climb it. I could toss one leg over that and get in. And this, I'm pretty sure you could just pull this straight up. Fucking hell. Right, wire cutters. Tom is such a bell end. Oh, does this side open? This gate's bolted from the other side. You could reach over and unbolt it, you fucking moron! What an absolute shithead. Do I need any of this crap? Got some wire cutters. Some old school wire cutters. Hmm. I'm not convinced by the way that it says that they're old. I think they're gonna break as soon as I try and use them. Inspect bush. I can't pass. The gate's blocked with thick weeds. Need to find a way to get through. Okay, so that's the way that we're going. Let's see if these wire cutters smash instantly. Nope, that's done the trick. Okay, we're in. <laughs> Shit, it's a giant dog. It's a ah, memory. That wolf. I'm not sure I'm feeling all right. Pretty sure that one was a dog. Fuck off, Eddie. What do you want now? Oh. Eddie, do you hear me? I actually might need your help. Hello? Nah, piece of junk phone. Yeah, it is a piece of junk phone. Or, like we've been saying for every single episode so far, it could be the lack of signal in the fucking woods. What have I got here? This empty sack could come in useful. I'll keep it for later. All right, we've got an empty sack. Let's pick some vegetables and put them in our sack. Nope, he's not interested in doing that. Let me go and unbolt this gate. I like to have two ways in and out of everywhere, if possible, just in case I get chased. I don't think this is that kind of game. Right, I've stolen all the chess pieces from your garden, and I found a barrel this sack. Sounds like the tap from a chemical barrel. Could be useful. Sure could. Maybe we can empty some chemicals into our bag. I don't think we can. Um, can we go into the house now, or is there anything else we need to find out here? Sodium cyanide? A barrel of cyanide isn't going to be any use to me here. Well, you fucking brought it up, you twat. Okay, we've got some shears. These are some sturdy shears. They'll probably come in handy. These shears are for that bush. I'm gonna go and trim it. They will love a nice trimmed bush. Okay, here we go. Get These this. These weeds are blocking the gate. I can't get through while they're there. You're shitting me. You've got some shears, mate. Use them. Maybe I need to sharpen them or something. I don't know. I suppose then we are going into the house after all. What are we gonna find inside? A note. Or is that a drawing? Some cake tins. Looks like some sort of chemical lab in here. It's a fucking meth lab. Yes. Sodium bicarbonate. A big sack of sodium bicarbonate. No use though. Light fluid. Oh, it's memory fragment. Okay, and this should be it. Okay, you've got a mixing this mix bowl. This isn't complete. I need to find more ingredients. I need to mix shit? Oh, fucking hell. Why? What am I doing? So I need some red leaves and some, I don't know, is that ash or white powder? It's not white, is it? That's why I called it ash. It looks like ash. Burnt shit. And then I need two cups. All right. I don't know what the fuck I'm cooking up here. Bicarbonate. No, that's not going to be of any help to me. You got anything else I can interact with? Got another sack here. Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. I can't think of a name for it. Well, I don't know why I'm actually looking for, Tom. You've got to fucking help me out. Chemical sack. This is ammonium sulfur, mate. But I don't want to pick it up with my hands. Fair enough. So I need a ladle for the ammonium sulfate. Fucking hell. There's another room we can go in. Got any ladles, mate? Surely you can have a ladle in the kitchen. This is the perfect place for one. I've got a cup. A small cup. Might be useful for measuring. Okay, that's one. Found one of the things that I need. It's a guide to creating your own weed killer. Oh, right, okay. Fuck it. Is it... What is it? Instant weed killer? This is how we're going to get through. Found the ladle. ladle. This could be helpful. Okay, right. Uh, I need one more cup. I suppose it's in the fridge, is it? It is. I can't get to it. Is it over here? No. Ball bag. Right. Can I just put my equipment down for now? This mix isn't complete. No. Nope. I need to find more ingredients. I need to find everything first. Hang on. Let me go get my chemicals. They're in here. Done. Spoonful of chemicals helps the medicine go down, but it will burn your insides out as well, so don't bother. I'm looking for a fucking cup. Molasses. This molasses isn't going to be of any use. No, mate. I need some brown leaves, apparently. Yucca. Why can I use the yucca. Yucca's nice, but not useful for me right now. Do I need something from back here? Blue lupin? Blue lupin. It's irrelevant though for what I'm doing. Periwinkle? This periwinkle plant's not what I need right now. What about this one? Money plant. It's a money plant, and they say money doesn't grow on trees. Money isn't growing on that tree, mate, yeah? Leaves are. I mean, why is he just named all the fucking plants? Oh, vinegar weed. Here we go. Right there. I trimmed up some vinegar weed. They are the leaves we need. So now all I need is one more cup. Or maybe it was just telling me that I need to use a cup to measure both things. I don't know. Let me go and have a look. Let me see if he'll do it with just the one. I don't think he will. Wait, he's using the ladle. Now he's using the leaves. This mix is incomplete. I need to find more ingredients. Why? What else do I need? Fuck off. I need another mug, you dickhead. Yep, he is right. I do need another mug. Where is the fucking other mug, you mug? Oh, wait. Hello? There's more chemicals over here. I forgot I had a barrel tap. So do I need to fill the cup with glyphosate? And then I pour this into the mix. 
The tap's ready, but I need something to hold the chemicals. Oh, do I need two cups of it? Is that what it is? Right, okay, that makes sense. There's one, I'm gonna get the second, and then I think we're ready to mix. Wonderful. Yes! I'm so glad I accidentally walked into this, otherwise I would have been looking for a cup all over this Don't fucking really place. Cup. I have to empty it. I don't first. want any more fucking I don't want to put any more in. I want to pour it in here. Okay, we're done. Yes, here we go. Master mixer. I'm gonna get high That's on this. It. The weed killer mixture is ready to go. Can I take it? I'm putting this mixture in my bag. The weed killer's safely in the sack. Time to tackle those weeds. Jesus Christ. It would have been easier, mate, just to use the fucking shears. I don't know why this is gonna instantly fucking melt all these weeds. But apparently it is. Jesus Christ, look at them go. What the fuck was in that stuff? I mean, I know what was in it. I made it. I had to gather all the fucking ingredients, didn't I? Regular little chemist is our Tom. What? Who is it? Eddie, fuck off! Eddie, this John's been giving me the runaround. I'm at some abandoned site. I'm seeing things and- Hey, calm down a second, Tom. Do you want me to come and get you? No, my sister is somewhere out here. I can't just give up and go home. Look, look, just calm down and listen to Wait, me. I see a truck parked up over there. What? That could get me moving. Tom, wait! Oh my god, it's gonna a steal a see truck? truck works. Jesus Christ, Tom does not stop stealing shit. I didn't even see a fucking truck. What are you looking at? Where's the truck? Oh, it's over there, I see. Okay, we'll go to the truck and find out what he wants me to steal next. This does not look like it's gonna fucking work, mate. It's got no wheels on it for a start. If I can unlock and repair this truck, it might just get me out of here. You want me to repair the whole fucking thing? It's a mess! Jesus Christ. We've got a compressor. Is that to blow up a tire? I need to find a tire. Fucking hell. Is it just the one? Yeah, we need one tire. And did he say I need the key as well? I mean, surely I can just grab a tire off of another fucking vehicle. He's gonna need a tool. You know what Tom's like. Right, let me go inside, see if... I mean, firstly, let's see if we can get inside. And then let's see if we can find some keys. Turn the fucking light on! And a tire. This is a fucking nightmare. Oh, I found a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer? This could be useful. God knows what for. Breaking and entering, probably. Right, the door's here. I don't know how I walked past it three or four times. No moving this. The door's locked. Okay, I need a key for that door. Can go in. He just won't. What about this one? This door is locked from the other side. Okay, is there another way in? Didn't show me a key symbol, so I must need to go around the back for this one. Hello, is there anything here? Can I get in? I mean, it looks like there's a way in, but I can't interact with anything. Nope, ignore that. Carry on. Keep looking for shit. Is there anything over in this corner before we try the house? No? Okay, it looks like we're going straight in. I mean, this is not a house. I don't know what this is. It's fucking abandoned. I can tell you. Whoa! Right, there's no way out there. There's no way Tom will even think of bobbing down to get under that. He'll be blocked in. Okay, what do we got in here? A chess piece. That's not what I'm after, mate. Can I open this? Nope. Uh, is there anything in here? Hello, hooded figure. Oh, yep, yeah, we've got a wrench. A tire wrench. This will definitely come in handy. It definitely will. That's how we're going to get it on there. Okay, nothing else in this room. I mean, luckily, the other door was only bolted from the other side, so I should be able to get out nice and easy. I'm just hoping that there's something else in here I need, because I feel like I'm still missing a number of items. Yeah, there's nothing else in here, mate. Door's open. I mean, there could be something else in here. It's pitch fucking black. I can't see anything. Oh, no. There's another room. Shit. We're not done yet. There is an idiot's guide to adventure games. This does surprise me. Still struggling, even when the answer is right in front of you? Then this is the book for you. Okay, what am I struggling with that's right in front of me? This game, yeah? Swing the vault door open. Okay, what have we got? Anything of use in any of these? Lots of shitty old CDs. Got a key. A small key. Wonder what it opens. Small lock, I imagine. Anything else? Lots and lots of toilet roll. But that appears to be it. Okay, we've got a circuit breaker. Switch it. Oh, the lights are on. Thank fuck for that. Now I can see. But I'm not going to check around to see if I've missed anything. I'm just going to go into the next room and then out of here to use the key. No, I'm not. Tom, why are you so chubby? I'm a flashback. Um, am I imagining things? Yes, Tom, you are. You have been the whole time. Okay, the lights haven't come on in here. It's still dark as fuck. This is a toilet. Perfect place for a chess piece. There isn't one, though. I'd have left one in the urinal for sure. Covered in piss. Make Tom get his hands in there. Okay, right, keep going. We've got another door. Oh, locked. And my key doesn't fit. Okay, so I've got another locked door. Fuck's sake! Is that like three now? What's this? An escaped patient from Clover Group. It says here that John is at the center of it all. What? How is John, John the center of it all? Oh my god, he could have Abby. Oh, I right. I trust him. All right, I see. Can I have a read of this? This paper suggests that John is at the center of the escape. I need to find out who this guy is. 
I'm not sure that this is an official newspaper, you know. Some reports describe John often seen in heated exchanges with staff. At the centre is a figure named John, surname not disclosed, whose role is unclear. More on page 3, the 7th of October 2008. I mean, I only just heard this on the radio, like yesterday. How have they printed a newspaper and got it into an abandoned building today? It's a bit fucking weird, man. Love the mushrooms. This building is a lot fucking bigger than I expected. I thought it was only a couple of rooms. Fucking lost in here. It's like the cat. Catacombs. Uh, I haven't even found the fucking exit yet. And I found no more things that I can use, or pick up, or open, or interact with, or anything. Is this the exit? Okay, we're out. What? Oh, it's the goddamn phone again. Is this John? We need to talk. There's a story here about an escaped patient from Clover Group, and they're naming a John. Is that you? Tom, don't let a sensational news story mislead you. They've got the facts all wrong. Oh, mislead me? The article connects a John to the escape. And here you are calling me from my missing sister's phone. You know more than you're telling me. You're putting pieces together that don't fit. We need to talk about this in person, Tom. I I've heard enough, John. I'm going to get to the bottom of this myself. Then I'm coming back to find you. <laughs> Fucking hell, Tom's getting angry, right? Hopefully, the key is for this place over here. And then, I imagine I'm gonna find a key in here, and I'm gonna have to go back to the other fucking building. We're in. Fucking hell. Not exactly the rates, but this will do for tonight. Oh, this is here. We're going to need a ton of strength for tomorrow's visit. Well, luckily, I've been building up my strength by pushing boulders everywhere. Ugh, dirty white tissues. Oh, this is the memory fragment scene. Are you scared to spend the night here? No, I need to find hot dogs. I don't give a shit about this. Can I go through this door? Yes, I can. Turn that back on, you prick. We've got a book. Not sure what to make of this. Random Revelations, Volume 1. Don't give a shit. I'm looking for another key. Ha! Mm, keys for a nearby vehicle, maybe. Well, they all call truck keys, Tom. So I'm assuming they're for the truck, but they weren't the keys I was looking for. Well, maybe inside the truck is keys to the small room inside the other building. Hello? Did I see a chess piece? You sneaky little fucker. Come here. Right, so there's nothing else in this room. This is just the memory room. This is a big waste of my fucking time, isn't it? God damn it. Right, let's head over to the truck. See if there's anything in it. It's unlocked. I can open all the doors. I found another key. It's a dirty old key. Mm, key could be important. Keys usually are, Tom. Truck's unlocked, but it still needs work. I know he does. He needs a fucking tire for Got one. Got the truck unlocked. Now time to get it roadworthy. Yes, Tom. I know. I'm assuming the tire then is going to be in the next room that I try. Is that all I need now? I've got the wrench. Put it on. I just need to find the tire. So we're back in here. Run around this fucking maze of shelves. Uh, is it this door? Yes. Okay, what's behind this one? Oh, loads of fucking tires. We've struck gold. Wagon wheel. Don't put that on, Tom. It's not a horse and carriage I'm fixing up. This won't help. Good. I'm glad you agree. Uh, what about this one? Found a wheel. It's flat, but it might work. Okay, so we need to use the compressor. Anything else in here? We don't need the big wheel. We don't need the huge wheel. We don't need the tire. I've got what I need, man. Yeah, I know, but I'm looking to see if there's anything else in here that I need. The rim. It's a rim without a tire. That's not going to do much. We've got another door. Use the sledgehammer to break through the wall. It's a door, mate. What are you talking about? Go on, Tom. Smash that fucker down. Oh, yeah. One go. See? Told you he'd been working on his strength. Destroyed it. Whoa. This place is amazing. Imagine what tomorrow will be like. Amazing. She is fucked up. Why am I seeing these things? Because, Tom, you're just having flashbacks, yeah? I don't know from when, but you are. Is there anything in here other than a flashback? Come on, man. There's got to be something. No, nope. just a door out of here. Oh, fuck, is this door? Surely then there's something in here. No, I think it's just showing me more flashbacks about a trip I took with Abby. There's nothing... There's actually nothing in here. Okay, let's go and fix the tire and the truck. Uh, do I need the ladder? Nope. Okay, tire and truck it is. So these flashbacks obviously have something to do with it. And I think because I'm getting closer to the end, I'm having them more and more frequently. We just need to figure out what the hell is going on and what John's part in all of this is. Okay, I still can't use the compressor. What am I missing? Inspect the car. I unlocked the truck. Now I just need to fix it up. Fucking hell. What else am I missing? Oh, hello. I haven't been this, this way yet. Pretty abandoned. Better take a look around. I mean, I don't know how. I can't get... Oh, no, this is where I came in. Ha! The black hose. This looks like a hose for a compressor. There we go. That's the final piece of the fucking puzzle. Let's go back. Now I can attach the hose to the compressor, the tire to the hose. I can blow up the tire, fix the fucking truck, and get the hell on the way. Whew! This has been something of an ordeal, this one. I've got the compressor hose, but nothing to pump up. I've got a fucking tire, mate. What are you talking about? I've got the compressor hose, but nothing to pump up. I've got a tire. Oh, I have to put the tire on the car. Then we have to fix it. Now I can pump it up. Turn it on. 
Oh yes, look at that bastard. Get ready to go! That John is definitely up to something. I need to get to the station and find some answers. What station? What station are we heading to? Why are we heading to a station all of a sudden? How many cars is Tom gonna go through before this adventure ends? Chapter over, disobeying rules. Ooh. Who is? Probably Abby. I've, I've got, I've had a good look at her character. She is the type to disobey rules. Find a way to get inside the police station yard. Can't believe this old rust bucket's still running. Good thing too. Yeah, why are we at the police station? Obviously we're gonna report John. Uh, where have we parked? Miles away from the police station apparently. Now it's the time for a stroll. I need to get into that station. Where the fuck is it? Oh right, I see. There's a way over here. I mean, why do we always take these weird unorthodox ways? Get you right at the beginning. Bang. I don't know why I'm bothering with these chess pieces. I've missed too many. Let's just run along the trail, see if this takes us straight to the station. Without too many complications. Oh look, the sun is rising. The sun's just touching the lake. Quiet and peaceful. Nice. Yeah, it's beautiful, mate. Do you want to shut up and get walking? Been on this fucking trip for about three fucking days now. It's like enough. Locked. If I want to get in, I gotta find a way to open it. Oh, shitting me. Just climb the fucking thing. Surely whatever I need is going to be right by this goddamn gate. Oh, it looks like there's ways into the woods, but I can't fucking go off the path. What does it even want me to look for? A key. It definitely wants me to find a key. Oh, hang on. Is it under the rock? A good old sturdy rock. Could no, be useful. no, it's not. That would have been awful security from the police. We're just going to use the rock to smash the padlock off. But at least it didn't have me running back. The solution was right next to the puzzle. without making a scene. I mean, are we sure that there's anyone here? What's this? Can I take it? I don't even know what it is. Why do you want to take it? I like to take all kinds of crap. This one's open. We've got more vehicles to steal if we need. Hang on, is this a door? It is. What's in here? There's got to be something useful in here. Wouldn't have let me in otherwise. Got a box. First aid kit. I don't need that, mate. Got a lockpick rake. It's a piece of a lockpicking set. This could definitely be useful. Okay, right, I need to find more. Oh, it's a banana! Genuinely hate bananas. I know, I know. So we've got half of the lock picking set, I assume. Got one piece of it. Gas can? An empty gas can, but I don't need it. Well, don't fucking pick it up then. Black spray paint? Black spray paint. Now, this could be useful. Wonder what for? Can't wait to find out. Car battery? Do I need that? It's sad that you have to be warned not to oh, fuck off. In these no one has to be warned not to drink a car battery, you dickhead. Right, okay. Can I do anything with the cars? No, and no. Is there anything over here? There is a spanner. A spanner. Never know when you'll need one of these. Okay, we'll take that too then. Let's collect as much goodies as we can. Is that it? That's it. Okay, nothing else to do over here. Check everywhere and everything. Okay, that was a successful haul. Came out there with three items. Anything over here? I think I'm going to need the lockpick to get inside the building, which means I've got another piece to find. Better deal with that camera first. Don't need a record of my visit. Shit, black spray paint. Take that camera. I can't get in there yet. I can't pick a lock with just half a set. Shit. I was right, it's half set. Where the fuck is the other half? Oh my god. It's a really small piece as well. The thing is, if it's in this building, I'm never gonna find it because it's so fucking dark in here. Can't I try and use a banana? Better than nothing, man. Because that's what we've got at the minute. Genuinely can't see fucking anything in here. This thing served its purpose and then bowed out dramatically. CCTV monitor? Beastly looking monitor. No good to me. Thanks for picking that up, Tom. The annoying thing is, it gives you a little bit of hope when you find something new and he picks it up and then he says something about it and then you want to stab him in the fucking eyes with a pickaxe. Pickaxe is a bit brutal for the eyes, mate. This is absolutely doing my fucking head in. Oh, what's that? Ooh, boy, you little shit. Right out in the open. Part of a lockpick set. This could come fucking hell fire. Honestly, the amount of wandering around I do trying to find one item that he actually gives a shit about is ridiculous. Let me in. Yes. Door is unlocked, but if I just open it, the alarm will go off. I need to find a way to fool it. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. What? Door is rigged with an alarm. I need something slim and metal to open the door without tripping it. Something slim and metal? Can I take a sign? Come on, these are slim and metal. Um, I'm gonna need to use the wrench. I'm gonna need to use the wrench to remove something. It's not the signs on the wall. Is it one of these? Come on, man. Be fucking simple. Is it this? Is it the number plate? Oh! This thin metal has potential. Yes! Okay, fucking hellfire. Right, we're in. Fuck you, police station. Try and stop me now. There. Should be able to open the door without setting off the alarm now. Do it then. Get the fuck in there. Hanging out around outside for ages. Okay, we're in. Jackpot. <laughs> Fucking hell. Quick, answer it. Tom, where are you? Are you alright? I'm fine, none of your business. I'm about to get to the bottom of this. You know where Abby is, because you're involved. Tom, it's Matthew. Guess what you're talking about. John. But what's your walking? Ah, I've lost signal. I'll try again later. <laughs> alright. The interview room. Whoa. Come on, Tom. Tell me about John. What? I already told you. I don't know any John. Are you sure? Think harder. What the fucking hell is that one? 
Had me and John done something together? Spec interrogation. Were you aware of how dangerous it was to trespass in the facility? What facility? Okay, that's weird. Do I have to bring memory items there? Uh, I couldn't open any of these doors, could I? It wasn't just because I was on the phone. No, I can go in them. Door's locked. It doesn't budge. But that one's locked. This door's locked tight. And so is that one. So no, I can't go in them. It didn't show me a key. I don't need to. Uh, so we're just looking for random items in the fucking police station. <laughs> fucking hell. Pictures they've got up are real weird. Ain't nothing down there. Anything on the board? No. Keep going. I mean, I'm charging around this police station. There's no... Oh no, there is. There's someone there. Shit. How am I going to get past him? Can I use the lift? No. Do I just walk in? Pretend like this is normal? Nope, not allowed in. There's someone manning the station. Blundering in won't do me any favours. I need to draw him away. Is there a fire alarm? Can I put... Wait, I can go up. Didn't see that. The emergency services appreciate nice services. This could be useful. Why is it? Why is that useful? It isn't. He's left it there. Okay, fine. No moving this. The door's locked. Okay. And there's no further way up. Oh, hang on. Can I phone and get him away from the station? This phone could help me get an empty reception, but I don't know the number. Ah, right. Okay. So now I need to find somewhere that shows me the police station's number. It's going to be on one of these wanky signs. So he's already got some information from this, which is why he picked it up. Um, uh, come on, man. Where's the fucking phone? Here it is. Got it. A non-emergency number. Might come in handy. I'll try to remember it. Okay, perfect. Let's go and do that. Get the guy away from reception and we can head on in. Great work, Tom. I did it. Tom's just fucking taking all the glory. Piece of shit. Clearwater Police. Officer Daniel. How can I help you? Hi. My name is Alex Carter from Pine Grove Community Center. I'm calling to confirm the details about your department's attendance for the emergency <laughs> services appreciation night. Oh my God. Yes, everything is fine. We just need to confirm the final numbers. All right, no one's in yet to ask. <laughs> Let me head upstairs, see if anyone's around early. Nice one, Tom. Number. We're fucking upstairs. No call you back. Yes, of course, that's fine. Thank you. How did you know that would work? That was the worst one. That guy has got fucking enormous shoulders. Why was that the call that he made? He took a fucking chance there. But at least now I know yeah, why he looked nice at that voice. flyer. That was the worst fucking voice and the worst goddamn phone call I've ever heard. We're so lucky that we didn't get arrested on the spot because he recognized it was a prank caller. Right, can I just go into this office? Is there something in here? Right, I'm in. Do I need keys or something to get around? Found a book. This is a strange thing. It's random revelations too. I don't give a shit, mate. What I want is something like keys. Coffee? That's a memory fragment. Okay, right. So these are for the interrogation room. I'm gonna take that back to see if I can find... Oh, a magnetic timer release button. Okay, right. I'll do that in a minute. Is there a file or anything in here? I just want to run back quickly to the interrogation room. Okay, right, fine. So I will press the button and then I have to run. I'm in. Fucking hell. It's a good job there's no one else in here with me. Right, let's start going through everything. This door leads to the archives. Need to find how to open it. Son of a fucking bitch, man. I mean, you know how to open it. We need a key. What the hell's going on here? It's active police cases, yeah? Don't pay any attention to it. Just find what we need. I don't know what I need. I don't know what he's here looking for. Caitlin N. Brantley. Caitlin N. Brantley. So fucking what? Don't pick up stuff that I don't care about. He's not going to read all of the fucking names, is he? Harrison R. Beryl. I'm not touching any more, yeah? I refuse. If one of them is important, I don't give a shit. Right, there's nothing on any of the desks. Can I go in here? Okay, right. We're in Harvey Ward's office. The special agent in charge. What the fucking hell case is he working on? Have you seen this plane? Oh, I like that picture. Right, let's go to his desk. If there's going to be any information, it's over here. Found something. Temporary removal of password on your PC. All right, fantastic. So I can use his PC. Wonderful. Misplaced archive room key. It's been repeatedly left in case file boxes by us as working late. This is a security risk. Double check your workspace before leaving. Ensure the keys return to its designated place. Okay, so we're looking on case boxes. Is that it? Is that the only one I can look at? Come on. I want to look at more fucking emails. Oh, I can. Please ensure you have the following present. Video camera clipboard. Okay, that is what we need to find to complete the memory fragment. Ken is retiring, throwing a small party in the break room. Give a shit about Ken. Hmm. This email mentions Stacy. That could be important. Okay, you want me to go to Stacy's desk, I'm assuming? No. Stacy is the daughter of someone. This is going to be some kind of code for something. If you need to get to my computer, it's Stacy's birthday. Fuck's sake. As I'm clearing out my desk, I stumbled upon an old department photo from 93 
Gregory, what a year that was. Try and remember that. Whose desk? This email mentions. Yeah, I know. Ken's point. desk. Shut up. Physical intervention and restraints. Don't need that. Fire alarm system is highly sensitive and fully integrated, as it should be. Is there anything else I need in here? So, hang on. Got a box. Got some handcuffs. Oh, these are memory fragments. We aren't accusing you of anything. We just need to investigate some details. So, now I'm thinking that Tom has lost his memory. He's done something to Abby with John. This is probably the oddest thing I've come across yet. I don't give a shit, Tom, to be honest, yeah? Can you just find stuff that relates to the case? Another memory fragment? This was on the tape, on a certain tape. That's three. Can't remember what else I need, mate. Harvey L. Ward. Let me have a quick look. Mm. This email mentions Not that. Stacey. That Not could that. be important. Desk lamp, clipboard, video camera. Let's see if I can actually complete one of the fucking memories. We're looking for Ken's desk. I assume it's this one, because it's the only one with a computer. That's turned on, isn't it? There's no nameplate, though. His logo. What's the betting? This is his daughter. Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, hello. There we go. Fucking hell, I can't see. Me and Stacy on her birthday, 17th of March. Did he say she was born in 93? So 17th of March, 93. I wonder if I've already found the right username. It's Harvey. It's not Harvey. Oh, right. I see. I have to find Ken's fucking name. Get off. Right. Where's Ken's fucking nameplate? Jesus Christ. Dixon. Milford. What's that one? Caitlin. I've already done that one, mate. Harrison, Malcolm. This fucking Ken got a desk? The sack of shit? Right, I don't see any more nameplates, mate. Is it falling on the fucking floor or something? Oh, wait, got a box. Maybe, because it said that the key's in the box, I have to take the lid off of all of the boxes. His nameplate is in the other office at the end of the room. That's the archives room. Just shut up, man, and empty the fucking boxes. There's one over here. Shit. There's one here. There's two there, actually. Can't get anywhere near him, though. So he won't walk any fucking closer. Oh, God damn it. Hello? We've got a box. I can't fucking see in it. Get that out of the way. Yes, keys. Ah, found some keys. Oh, fuck for that. Right. Oh, my God. I'm stuck in this corner. Get away from me. Okay, we can go into... Oh, no, it's not an archives room. Yes, it is. It's the records room. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, hello. No, I was expecting there to be a nameplate. There is not one. Shit. What about through this door? Locked securely. I wonder how I can open it. Fucking hell. With a hammer, man. Can I use this computer? Can't use this until the other computer's logged off. All right, okay. I understand. Uh, we've got a book. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. A dead end. This hasn't got what I'm after. Door's locked. And I don't have a key for it. Fucking hell. Not here. Where will I find the right files? So I assume I'm not going to know what file I need, and he won't open the drawer until I identify it using this fucking computer. Which I can't do, because I can't find Ken's fucking nameplate. Don't open it into my face. Come on, it's got to be in here somewhere. I mean, this is Ken's desk. It's got his picture of his daughter on. Why has he got a fucking nameplate there? The useless dick. Oh, oh it's only a fucking memory fragment. Stop picking up Milford C. Vasco's fucking nameplate. Harrison R. Barrel. I suppose there's one with two fucking names on this there. Malcolm R. Carver. No. Where the fuck is Ken's? I don't have to get it off one of these shields, do I? Oh! Kennedy Morgan. Kennedy Morgan. There we fucking go. Right. Okay. Done it. So now I head back here. What was the date of birth? A picture of a man with a teenage girl. 17th of March. Okay. I wonder if I've already found the right username. I have. I have. I have. It's fucking Kennedy. Bang. Okay. Got the right username. Now for a password. Is it just six digits? Fuck you, no, man. That's not it. Maybe there's a clue around here for the right password. It's not going to be 17 either. It's going to be 0317. Because it's American. There we go. Done it. What have we found? What have we found? It, it can't be. They're saying that I'm I'm crazy. Oh, fucking hell. Am no, I the escape is... patient? No. It's not possible. It's John. He's, he's taken her. And this, this is his way of covering it up. Yeah. He's making me out to be... No. I know what I remember. <laughs> Abby's out there, and I'm going to find her. Okay, right. Now it all comes together. So, Tom and Abby went camping. Abby died. I was put in a mental institution. I must have killed her in some way. I'm the escaped patient. John, I think, is the doctor. And he's leading me on some kind of weird trip, like on Shutter Island, to get me to face up to my memories of what I've done. Right, can I use this now? The user is already logged on elsewhere. I'll have to shut down the other computer. Fucking hell, I thought I'd done that. Shut it fucking down, dickhead. Uh, I don't think I can. Although, I didn't actually read this before. Patient exhibits severe dissociative episodes, often assuming the identity of his late sister. What? I pretend that I am, Abby? Dr. John McAllister has employed an experimental therapy approach involving controlled exposure to stresses reminiscent of patients' past experiences. If I'd read this, I would have confirmed exactly what I just said. Patient's condition remains complex, deeply rooted in traumatic loss of sister. Okay, right. So maybe I didn't kill her. She died and I couldn't handle it. Uh, but how do I fucking shut it down? Do I just pull the fucking plug? Oh! 
Yes, I do just pull the plug. Okay, fantastic. Now we can go and use the computer in this room. Fucking hell. Finding his name is a pain in the arse. Click here to unlock the archive door. How? That's this room. Okay, so now we just need to make Tom see sense and understand what the fucking hell he's done. Abby Harwood case file, conveniently left out. It says here that Abby died in an accident. No way. I just don't believe it. Fatally injured. Doesn't mention a location, but maybe these negatives will show me something. Fatally injured, fall from height under suspicious circumstances. We were present. Fingerprints on unusual machine parts. Fair enough. Can I open the cash box? I can. I've got some keys. What are they for? Is there something else that's locked? Empty handed again. The search continues. Well, don't fucking look in there, Tom. I don't need you to, yeah? Video camera. You pretty fucking much are, man. You ended up putting me in a mental institution. And now I'm running around the woods and you lot are doing a fucking experiment on me. I can easily die. I've lost my fucking mind. Can I go through this door? Aha! Okay. What is through here? Oh, right. I'm going to need to develop a photograph, aren't I? I've got negatives. A photo processing station. How hard can it be? Pretty fucking simple, actually, as long as we've got all the right com chemicals. It's a photo development station. I know it is. Okay, we've got developer fluid. fluid. If I remember correctly, this is what makes the image appear on the page. One, we've got fixer. Fixer fluid. I believe this sets the image so it won't just vanish on me. Uh, insert negative to enlarger. It's a negative enlarger. I've placed in the negative. Right, I need some photo paper. Are there any in here? Can I just put the fluids in for now? Okay, that's one. I'm missing a fluid. Uh, is it in here? Oh, here it is. Stop, Stop bath. I think this stops the developing process. I'll need it. Perfect. Okay. Right. So now I just need the paper. Where is the blank paper? Sink. Just a sink for washing stuff. Shit. It's not in there. Photo paper? Anyone? Is this it? It's a blank sheet of photo paper. Yes. Take it. Okay. Oh, that was nice and easy. Everything nice and close together. That's what we fucking like. Expose. Yeah, in place. Just need to switch it on, I guess. It better fucking work. Yes. Okay. Sorted. Got it. The image from the negative is now on the paper. Oh, he's doing it all himself. Thank fuck for that. Doesn't need any input from me. I did all that I could in putting the chemicals together. Tom was gonna. But it's still sensitive. It needs a good rinse. No, he isn't. He's gonna fucking make me do it. Fine. Oh, do you want me to do it in the sink? Got ya. Come on then, wash it. Can you see the sign that says clear water? The photo shows the old foundry of clear water. Okay. This is where John has Abby. I better head over there now. The foundry? That's clearly where she died. That's her body outline. Okay, right. Escape the police station. It sounds busy all of a sudden. Oh, that's the archive room. I can hear a hubbub. Shit, all the officers have come back. Lunchtime must be over. I can't just wander out there. Too many officers around. I gotta think of a way to get rid of them. Did I see a fire alarm somewhere on the wall? I read an email about it. There's no way they would have said that. There it is. Unless it wants me to pull it. Jackpot. Get the fuck out, cops. The building's on fire. Tom the arsonist is here. Yeah, get the fuck out. Fucking hell, that's loud. Get me out of here. Shut the fuck up, man. Just get me out. The noise is unbearable. We're on to the final chapter. That is going to be the foundry. John, I know what you've been doing. You have Abby at the old Clearwater foundry site, and you've been messing with the files of the police station. No. I'm on to you, and I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, God. Look, <laughs> look at him go. Jesus Christ, he's fast. Back in our shit bucket truck, and we are off to the foundry where I think this story is gonna come to a close. Whilst heading to the factory, I heard a really loud bang from the truck. Oh, fuck it. Sounded like it might have been something to do with the brake. <laughs> sure hope not. <laughs> yeah, sure hope not. Otherwise, you're driving straight through the fucking fence. Just like that. Fucking hell. Tom. Not another car accident. Tom, are you alright? Oh, he's alright, look. He's crawling out before it's all blown up. Nice one, Tom. That's two cars we've wrecked, but at least this time he's not covered in blood from head to toe. We should be okay. Okay, we are up. I mean, it's not the most orthodox route into the foundry, I'm sure. I don't know why Tom's decided to take it. He's probably, yeah, a little woozy, oh my god, from the car crash, and he's doing things that don't make sense. But he has just got that pipe to smash John's fucking head in. Or is he just using it on this door, assuming that it's locked? didn't even try it, mate. It could have been open. I don't know if it needed a pipe instantly. You could have gone through the open fucking window. Is this car going to fucking blow up now? Jesus Christ, Tom. Look at the mess you've made. They're never letting you out of hospital. You just made things a million times worse. It's time to face reality. Okay, we're in. 
I don't know how many doors he's had to smash down to get here, but we are in the foundry, which no longer looks like it's in business, yeah? It's a fucking mess. There's no one here. There is a chess piece, though. This place gives me a funny feeling. Kind of feels familiar. It's because you've been here before, Tom, yeah? You did read the police file. John didn't invent it. You've invented all of this madness. Where the fucking hell do I need to go in here? That looks dangerous. It does look dangerous. Let's stay away from it. We'll go a different direction, shall we? Whoa! Could have been my head. I wish it had been your fucking head, to be honest, mate. But we'll carry on with Tom alive, just wishing that he were dead. Can I do this something with this valve? Is there anything around here? Also, no. Let's just keep walking until we're up against a puzzle, okay? I've got a running generator. Surprising, this generator. I don't think it's surprising yet. I think John did it. John's here, trying to solve the problems with our head. The fuel cap seems pretty loose. Okay, so I need to remove the fuel cap and stop the generator. Okay, I am on a tool hunt in a place which is full of shit bits of metal. This is not going to be quick or easy. I found a pole with a hook on the end. And the hook on the end might come in hand. I'm sure it will, Tom. I'm sure it will. Let's carry on. We're not going that way. Oh, that... You're going to make me walk the whole way fucking back? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Hopefully there's nothing else down here. Now I need to find something that I can use that needs a hook with a pole on it. Is it going to be this, mate? Can I just walk into this and kill Tom? <laughs> I can walk into it, yes. Kill Tom, no. Fortunately, we are stuck with him. Uh, I can't get over to those steps. What can I hear? Is there a radio somewhere in here? Surely there's something down here. It wouldn't let me down here if there was nothing here. Mate, there's nothing here. Yep, I'm inclined to agree with you. What the fucking hell does it want from me? I just can't find anything to do. I've got my pole with a hook. No idea where to use it. Have I been this way? I think I have. Yeah, this is exactly where I found my fucking hook, you idiot. I mean, surely, if I've got a pole with a hook, it's going to be something fucking above me. But I haven't fucking seen anything anywhere. What about this hose? Do I need this? He loves a good hose. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now do I just use the hose on the fuel cap? Or do I need something else to remove it first? Can't I use the pole with a hook to flip the cap off? No, I just use the hose. Siphon all the diesel out the generator. And now we've got a phone call. Tom, John just called me. He said you were at the old clear water factory. I am. You gotta be careful in there, man. It's dangerous. I know. So you know this, John, huh? <laughs> and what's going on? Look, John is there to help you. Just don't do anything silly. Huh, a random stranger and my friend are both <laughs> constantly calling me, worried about my well-being, <laughs> all the time forgetting that Abby is still missing. <laughs> Neither of you seem to understand how serious this is. Tom, of course we do. We just want to help you. Ah, nonsense, Eddie. He's here somewhere. I'm gonna find him. Abby's vanished, and they want to save me? John's definitely got her. I just hope I'm not too late. Tom just refuses to accept reality. Pissing about with the generator turned off the electrical cable. We can carry on. We found anything I can use yet. All right, we've got stairs going up. Chest piece over here. But are there any actual items of use? No, I don't think so. I think we're just going straight. Okay, keep going. Well, we're not going that fucking way, are we? Luckily, there is another way behind me. Okay, we've got an office. This place is falling apart. It is falling apart, you're right. Okay, so... It's out of reach. I need something to climb up. We're looking for something to climb up that ledge. Is there anything in here of any use? It's an office, there's got to be something. There's an apple! It's a memory fragment. No, Tom, that is left. Just this is some water. Okay, we're looking for some water, are we? It's the blue water bottle, I remember it. Nothing else in here? Can't I use this chair to climb on? Fucking hell, Tom. God, there's still loads of places I can go and check out. Okay, we're not going down there. We're not going out there. There's one way I can go. That's over here. Are you going to walk across there, Tom? Inspect the narrow ledge. It's a big gap. I need something to put down to cross. Right, okay. I need a giant fucking plank. Where the hell is that going to be? I did see one. Get out of my fucking way. I did see one here. Can I grab this one? Yes. That was a risky plank grab. Hope it's worth it. <laughs> Me too. Did he say that was a rotten plank? I don't think this is going to go well, Tom. Are we just going to... I might be able to get across if I can find something to bridge. Fuck, I need loads of them. Can't we just walk on one and then just keep doing that the whole way over? How many planks do I need? One, two, three more. Okay, let's keep our eyes out for planks. This will be fun. Here's one. This is mine now. I'm taking this. <laughs> All right, Tom. Well, I can't fucking go back. The way's broken. Maybe he just needs two and he'll he'll do what I said he should have done in the first place. Place one, move one, place one, move one. Fucking well, won't. The gap's too wide. Perhaps there's something around here to bridge it. Can't you just swing on one of these I chains? Get across if I can find something to bridge it. You sack of shit, Tom. Oh, there's one above me. Surely that's one. Come on. There's one right above me. I fucking hate you, Tom. Jesus Christ, they can't be far. I can't go anywhere. Is that one? Found one. Thank you. 
Fantastic. There's not two in there, is there? Damn it. Can I just reach over and grab this one? Come on, man. We can just do a fucking Something jump here. I need something to put down across. You're telling me you can't reach anything from here? Or climb up? Fine. Where's the last one? I'm fucking sure that this is the last plank, but I can't get it. And I don't understand why. Oh, shit. It's there. It's above me. Do I need to pull this? Ah, you dirty bastard. This might help. Right idea, wrong place. Okay, fantastic. Finally, I can move past this bit. Fucking hell. All right, so we're still looking for something so we can climb up out of the gap. But we're not going back that way. Fucking hell. Every time I move forward, shit falls down behind me. Need something to give me leverage. Right, looking for some kind of iron bar again, are we? I don't know why you just don't keep the things that you find, Tom, because we always need them later on. I'm not going down, going up some more. What's in here? Ha! This bar might give me some leverage. Too right, it will. Let's go and get in this fucking room before we head further up. Uh, I've lost the room. It's here. Okay, right, we're in. Yes. Come on, Tom. The truth is ahead. You just need to fucking be able to accept it. Your sister died and your Porsche is to blame. You should be good at it, yeah? That's all you've been doing for the last few days. Uh, what have we got? Half a handle for some shears. I need to find the other half of the shears, or we just stab that into John's face. I'm not quite sure which direction Tom's gonna go in. Oh no, I found the second half. It's half of a pair of shears. I've got a full set. Now I can stick it in John's throat and open it up. Do I need this? Nope. Do I need anything else in here? I need to fix the, the shears. pieces are in place, but they're not secured together. Shit. What do I need to secure them together? For fuck's sake. Ha! Screws. screws won't do the job. God damn it. This one will though. Large bolts. Run tight. I'd want something sturdier. Okay, let's fix this. Done! Check that out. Put together by my own fair hand. Yeah, but you just found the pieces, mate. It's not like you made them all. I'm assuming I need these shears as I go up here. Oh, is it to chop these logs? It's, a, it's not a log, mate. It's a branch. Nowhere near a log, is it? I don't think I actually could have gone any further up. I think this tree thing is in the way. And this is the direction that I had to come. I will just check that though. Oh no, there's just a raised gate. Okay, so we are continuing on the right track. Let's just check in case there's anything I walk past that I may need. Because it is a puzzle every two seconds in this place. Okay, we're not jumping down there. We're not going down there. There's still a way. No, there isn't. I'm not allowed down there either. Okay, I'm stuck. John! I don't know what I'm doing. Oh wait, drop down the ledge. I am going down. But for once, I had to just press it. John! We're coming for you! Fucking hell. I hope John's ready, because Tom is not getting it out of his head that he has done something to his sister. Do I need this? Stuck solid. Perhaps a forceful strike with something might help. Right, so I need something like a hammer, or possibly a hammer. Found the water bottle. That is my memory fragment. Uh, I still need something big and wacky for the engine, like this sledgehammer. The sledgehammer? This could be useful. It is. It's going to be very useful. Let's go and whack this engine. Okay. Nice one, Tom. Getting the foundry back up and running again. I mean, I don't even know why I've done that. What has it done for me? Oh, there was a door with a red light on. I assume I'm trying to open this. I don't know how that helps me, though. It's a hydraulic door. I don't think I can open it directly. Must be something holding it in place. Oh, wait, I can activate these switches. We want those closed so it doesn't go down. This one needs to be open. This one needs to be closed. This one needs to be closed. This one needs to be open. Open. Closed. Open. Closed. Yes, there we go. Pow! One step closer to John. Feel like he's not far away now. Right, we're not going that way. Come on, Tom, let's get a run on. We're at the end. Pretty sure there's no way back. I found trolley wheels. I found some wheels. Okay, we'll take them. May as well. He does like picking up the most random of fucking objects. That's nothing. Is there anything in here? I don't know what this is actually for, but it's very heavy. I was, I was hoping that's where I needed to use my trolley wheels. Apparently not. Close gate. These gates won't budge by hand. I bet there's a trick to opening them. Oh, another apple. Yeah, and that one. We've got the fruits left at least. Yep, the pair of apples and the water. So, do I need to go up? I mean, it's got to be the wheels. I just don't know where I have to use them. Fucking hell, I thought I'd walked off that then. Jesus Christ, Tom, be careful. Okay, there's nothing up here. Surely, it's something to do with this mechanism here. This heavy trolley looks to me like it's missing its wheels. I've got the fucking wheels. It's a strange trolley thing. All cogs and no wheels. I've got the wheels. I've got the wheels. Fucking use them, you idiot. Am I missing something else? Do I need, like, another set of wheels before I'll fix it? Surely that means that there's something up here that I missed, because it wouldn't let me up here for no fucking reason, would it? That one? No, that's just now thinking that anything shaped like a circle is a fucking wheel. I mean, most things are. 
No, they're not. Oh, what was that? Oh, a button. Okay, right. I've got an elevator. Have you got some wheels in there for me that I can steal? Or do I just go in the elevator? Okay, fine. Sorted. Forget the gate. That was a red herring. Unless I need to get more wheels from down here. Okay, where are we now? Fuck's sake, mate. This place is enormous. Well, I wish I had a flashlight. It's way too fucking dark in there. What am I looking for? A spade? A shovel. This might help. Yep. Okay, right. Whoa. Come on, this is the memory area. Not a chance, unfortunately. I have not collected all the pieces. You can't have an apple and some water, though. Oh shit, I haven't found the chessboard. Uh, is there anything else down here that I can take? I don't know how the shovel is going to help me with the wheel machine. Oh, I need to dig these wheels out. Got ya. Yes. So we did need extra wheels. We've got extra wheels. We go back up in the lift and then we can get through the next gate. This foundry has been an ordeal. Get me the hell back up. Now, even if I find the chessboard, mate, I'm not coming back here. Screw the memory. I don't care. Right, let's go fix this. I have all your wheels, weird trolley machine. This heavy trolley looks to me like it's missing its wheels. You're shitting me. I need more wheels. Well, where have I missed them? Oh, hello. I can move this trolley. Can I can I get up there? What have I done? Why have I moved that trolley? There's no way up there. Oh, I see. Oh, fucking hell. When I move that, it lifts it up. Now I can attach the wheels. Now it's lifted up. And then I can do this, pull it down, and then ram it through the gate. Is that what we're doing? Fuck you, Gates. We are through. Honestly, I'm exhausted from doing this. I do hope John isn't too far away. I don't know how much longer I can keep going. John, come to see you. John, it's all right, I found the way. Oh. These photos are gonna be great. You can see so much from up here. Don't ever think about So Abby, being the daring idiot, trying to get a great photograph, found herself a spectacular angle, fell and died. There is the chessboard. Give a shit. Here is a stepladder. I do give a shit. Do I need anything else? No. Okay, let's carry on. I'm not going through there. We're going over here. Fuck you, can. There she goes. Dead. We've remembered. I've got to get down there. She's not fucking really there, mate. She's dead. I can't just jump down there. I need oh. to find another way. I've got a fucking ladder, mate. Where do I need to put the ladder? Oh, wait. I can press a button. What the fuck? Didn't expect Glad I wasn't standing in front of it. I didn't even see what happened. But this door's open behind me. We can go this way. Just need to find a way down. That's not it. Oh, hang on. I've been here before, haven't I? I, rec I recognize this place. Yes, I'm back at this office. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember. I needed to go up here, didn't I? This is what the ladder's for. Okay, up we go. Climb the fucking thing then, idiot. Anything I need in here before I carry on? I don't want to have to come back if I don't need to. Nope. Okay, do we just... Is this a lift? Are there buttons for me to press? Elevator power. Right, found you. Fucking hell. Thank God they've drawn that giant blue arrow. I never would have found it. The elevator is here. We can go down. No. Is this John? This is the guy who's been following us the whole time. I recognize his braces. What? How did you... Tom, I know this is hard. You've seen the truth now, haven't you? Are you sure he's a doctor? Abby. The truth? You mean your lies? <laughs> She's dead because of this place, isn't she? Because of what you did. It's not that simple, Tom. Abby's accident was tragic, yes, but it was an accident. Your mind has turned it into a narrative of blame and conspiracy. I've only ever tried to help you see that. Help me? By manipulating my memories? Making me think I could save her? It was never about saving Abby, Tom. It was about saving you. Oh, that's what job. Helping you accept the reality that she's gone. You'll never accept it. The mind creates stories to protect itself, but those stories can trap us in a cycle of grief and denial. You call this help, driving me to the edge, making me relive her death over and over. I wanted to guide you to acceptance, not torment you. Sometimes we have to confront our most painful memories head on to truly move past them. Yeah, we'll move past this. <laughs> what? Huh? Where's John gone? What the fuck? Jesus Christ, Tom, what are you doing? Why did he sprint at that full speed? Tom's lost his fucking mind. I mean, we did know that. That's why we're here in the first place. Can I just go down? What the fuck was that all about? Did that really happen or what? Now I feel like I'm going mad. John! Where have you gone, John? I don't understand why Tom still refuses to accept any of this. He's just seen the memory of his sister falling to her death, but he won't accept it. Where did she fall and die? Gotta be around here somewhere. I thought that was the end. This is it, that's where she died. Found it. 
She's not in that box, mate. Why is he closing that box? Is that like a symbol of him closing the door on the bad episode that he's been going through? Oh, right, okay. No, it's not. He's trying to set up a chess game. game. Daddy. It'd be nice to have one more game, huh? <laughs> I didn't find all the pieces, mate. Getting it right this time. You won't be. John's back! see now, Tom. It was a tragic accident. <laughs> Abby fell. It wasn't your fault, nor was there anything you could have done. It all... It all feels like a bad dream now. Like I've been asleep this whole time. Is Tom cured? What's been wrong with me, John? <laughs> when your friend Eddie brought you to me, you were troubled. You he kept talking about troubled. Abby as if she was still here with us. You couldn't accept her death, and your delusions were tearing you apart. That's why I needed to help you face reality, no matter how painful it might be. Oh, it was painful. Delusions? Yes, Tom. The shootings, the wolves. You've been reliving your last adventure with Abby over and over. It's a cycle of your what? guilt and grief manifesting. And when I found you lost in the woods after the car crash, you'd forgotten even who I was. I took you to the lodge to keep you safe. Uh, oh I stole a car. <laughs> Wait, you had Abby's phone. I never did have Abby's phone. I placed an entry in yours for my number. I hoped letting this scenario play out would help you finally see the truth. I see now. It's just I fucking car, don't. Though. You think you know it all, and then life just throws it all in your face. Well, the police are here. Time to go, Tom. Back to hospital. Tom's just running away, and John's letting me? What kind of fucking doctor is he? Take care, Tom. <laughs> I really hope this time it lasts. What? What the fuck kind of ending is that? The police were coming for me, weren't they? And that is the end to one of the weirdest games I've played this year. And I've played Tamarindo's freaking dinner. There are a few things that do not make sense to me, especially the part about the shootings. So that was me reliving a memory, even though I actually got shot. But that was me reliving a memory of an adventure with Abby. Why were we being shot at? Maybe we were shooting at each other. Maybe we like to have really wild adventures where we chase each other through the woods. Or maybe we were shooting at the wolves. I don't fucking know, mate, yeah? There are many unanswered questions thanks to John and his unorthodox methods. I'm pretty sure that guy is not an actual doctor, particularly by the way he's just let us run off into the wilderness by ourselves. At the end of all that, we finally accept that our sister died and we had some kind of part in it because we accepted going on the adventure with us, so there's bound to be some residual guilt there, but John doesn't give a fuck. He's let Tom run off into the wild, even though he's a fucking wanted fugitive and an escaped patient from a mental institution. That is a lot to take in. And now I'm gonna have to go away and have a damn good relax because that has been a lot for my tiny mind. So all that's left to say today is thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Take care of yourselves out there and I will see you next time. Goodbye.